So believe it or not, this October commentary video was a damn hassle to make. It's because I had about three other ideas for landing on this video. The first script I wrote was about FNAF AR Star Circus DLC and how it could have been expanded into multiple parts and possibly been better. However, I did is I liked the script and I scrapped it completely. And the second one I wrote was about Poster's analog horror series which is called Dreams of Insomniac which takes place around Halloween. I almost landed on it, but here's the thing. Dreams of an Insomniac is a series where it's best if I only watch it and not talk about it. Plus, there are multiple movie land videos talking about it, and I don't know what else there is I could say. And the third idea that didn't become a script was the video going over all the Halloween updates to a f to FNAF games. But I, but there, and the reason why it never came to script was because there's only about four things that are Halloween themed updates or games. If it wasn't obvious, I wanted to do a Halloween themed video for October, but I was worried I couldn't. Until I remembered the game that is the topic of, of this video, Zoocosis. A game that was announced in January of this year? Holy crap. Alright, so Zoocosis is a game made by Clapper Hands LLC. Actually, wait, no, I'm sorry. By Clapper Hands LLC, where you are a zoo employee who is taking care of these infected animals. To my knowledge, Zoocosis is a full game. Not chapter one of the game, a full game, so that's cool. But how does this have to do with Halloween? It doesn't. It doesn't. But whenever the animals are, are mutated, they kind of look like zombies. Kind of. I don't know guys, my brain's about quarter fried after all these ideas. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I think this intro has gone on long enough, so let's go ahead. This game opens with an interview and a man injecting us with a green serum. Off to a great start. Our name is Paul Connolly, and the guy and, and the guy that just injected us is simply named Doc for now. Come on, we're not playing here. Zip it, Doc. After we wake up, we get straight to work. Doc has put two packs of herbs and one pack of vegetables on the cart. What was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. This guy is too normal about that. Something fishy is definitely going on and we can already tell. We walk our cart to the brick trolley and take the train to the giraffe enclosure. The inside of the train is meant to be a kitchen slash factory, making food for the animals and medicine to cure them if they need it. A the theme animals their food will, will make you be able to collect their feces for tests. First thing we do is make a little snack for the giraffes. And also, speaking of the, of the giraffes, we can friggin' pet them! I think we'll pet all the animals in this game, which is a pretty fun feature. We pour their food in the feeding area and they start eating. Does anyone else think, uh, else, uh, else think that this feeding area for the giraffes is a little too low? After they feast, we put on the mobile fecal extractors, slash the MFE. In simpler terms, a sh sucker. Oh. Okay. So we use the poop vacuum to suck the turrets up. We use the thermal imaging tool to check the body temperatures of the animals. The temperature of two of the giraffes are fine, but, but one of them but one of their temperatures is a little higher than it should be. Thankfully we can just make some tempera lights to go ahead and fix that. After we make we put it in a dart, and then we put the dart in a dart gun, and then we shoot with the giraffe. Cool. That's basically loop of zucosis. You feed animals, you suck their shit, you do tests, you cure the sick ones, done. Let's go to the, go to the penguin enclosure next. The penguins are so adorable, let me just go ahead and say that. Just let their little walk. Just let them run whenever you point the, whenever you point the dart at them. Something else that they have to do the animals starting with the penguins is take blood samples and sound samples. I almost forgot that we get a call from someone named Linda who asks to check her husband CJ's locker. And when we do, we, we, get, we find this floppy disk file. Don't know if that'll be useful later, but it might be. We turn the hub and pull the lever for some meat, and out comes- What the hell? That's a human body. Is that the meat- is that meat that we're, that we're supposed to feed the animals? Did we get that to our wife? The beginning of the game that I, that I think I forgot to- that, that I think I forgot to mention? What the hell? After we see the body, Doc calls, and, and this where it tells us that the animals can, can turn into mutants. Little late if you ask me. Also if you do give- also, also if you do give the meat to your wife, and you tell Doc, he doesn't give two craps, he just says, feel the consequences of your misdeeds and get to work. What a dick. He also mentioned something that's called the mother, and that's what spread the disease. So there's probably some huge creature somewhere. 
Unfortunately, we had to kill the title woman and get the meat. This was like a whole other level of foobar. Next exhibit is the wallabies. Oh, they look adorable. Wait, they look like kangaroos. I just realized that. But can, can you guys give this like one second? All right, so wallabies are basically slightly smaller and slightly chunkier versions of kangaroos. Got it. So like I was saying, the wallabies look adorable, but the sound they make, I never heard or seen a wallaby in real life before, so I'm just going to hope that that's what they're supposed to sound like. After checking on them, we have to cure them, and then done. Okay, not done because we have a freaking mutant wallaby. This is the first mutant animal that we see in the game. They're supposed to attempt to satisfy the mutant animal. I mean, it is by feeding them meat. But, but if you don't have any meat, they might, they, they might want to get some lethal injections or some cures ready. Uh, after killing or curing them, the animal will cough out the parasite. Then we use the crap container to con then we use the crap container to contain it. The, the next area is the gorilla enclosure. I and mean, once again, one of the gorillas it, it, it is a monster. I think you know the drill by now. During this whole time, ever such in past the giraffes, we've been throwing up. And our skin starts to look more and more infected over time. And by the time the doc gets back, he says he sees us, and instead of curing us, tells us tells us that the mother needs to eat. So he feeds us to the mother, and that's Zucosis. <laughs> the end. However, the story can be changed. That's right, there's multiple endings. And we just got probably the worst ending. Do you remember that girl we dropped into the meat grinder? Well, apparently we can choose to save her. Uh, her name is Sarah, and she's a journalist for Pine Valley. And she tells, and she tells, tells that what the doc did was the game was infected with a parasite. The same one that's in the animals. And she wants... And, she want, and what, what she wants to do is expose the zoo and expose the mother. And as a matter of, and she was willing to do anything for her. And by anything, I literally mean she slept with CJ behind his behind his wife's back and tried to get some information, but, but the only thing she got was a bag over her head. And guess what? And guess we're sleeping with Sarah led CJ. <laughs> Getting grinded up. That's right, we, we freaking fed our wife CJ. And how do we know that was CJ? Well, his hand was in the biometric waste filter. Thankfully, we need CJ's silver hand to get up to this underground lab. And certainly, you see this flop disk to try and guess the password. Also, says that Doc's name, uh, real name is Oliver. And then Sarah sends us a poison for the mother. Once the mother dies, all the parasites will die with her. After making this poison return to the mother's cage, Paul sits, sits next to it and waits for Doc. And when Doc finally shows up, he tells Paul that, that his wife is also, is also gone because she followed her report to the police. Apparently, Doc has friends everywhere. So I'm guessing that means that the police were in on it. Uh, Sarah knocks out Doc and injects him, and then the mother takes him and tears him apart. Then Sarah takes the body cam footage, uh, uh, uh takes the body cam footage of the mother and is able to finish her report and expose the zoo. Uh, then Paul closes the door and then coughs up the parasite and Sarah kills it. Paul returned to his daughter, him and Sarah Sean bonded, who are often seen together. How sweet. This is the alleged true ending. And the reason that I say alleged is because there's an a label and because there are 10 freaking endings in Zucosis. I only highlighted two of them in this video and I'm not going to talk about the other eight because the outcome's either Paul dies or the mother dies. And that is Zucosis. My thoughts on Zucosis. It's a simple game that's a little underwhelming, but I don't think it's a bad game. However, I do have some criticism. The animals can't leave the areas whenever they're infected, and since Oliver uh, put, puts this, puts that puts that same parasite in you, the, the animals to just see was one of them, which means you can't die. And also, the jump scares aren't really that scary neither. But this course came out very recently, and I enjoy and I enjoy watching gameplay of it. I don't know if I would enjoy playing it. It's already. What did we learn today? We learned not to film during a storm. Yeah, right. I don't know if y'all heard it at all, but there's a storm going on outside. I'm trying, to, and I'm trying to get this out by Friday this week. Please relax, Gold. It comes to Scream's 2010 game, and it takes at most two hours. And the power's out. Great.